Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's. It is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name, O God most high, to proclaim your love and faithfulness all the day and through the night. La 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 In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So today we celebrate the memorial of St. Charbel Maclough, uh, a Lebanese uh, priest, uh, a saint. Uh, so uh, we honor him today and I'm going to speak to him about him uh, in my homily today. So we'd just like to welcome our parishioners here of St. Mary's and all those who are watching uh, this daily Mass here at St. Mary's online through YouTube. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts, Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who called the priest St. Charbel Maclough to the solitary combat of the desert and imbued him with all manner of devotion, grant us, we pray, that being made imitators of the Lord's passion, we may merit to be co-heirs of his kingdom, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Return, O faithless children, says the Lord, for I am your master. I will take you, one from a city, two from a family, and I will bring you to Zion. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. And when you have multiplied and increased in the land, in those days, says the Lord, they shall no longer say, the ark of the covenant of the Lord. It shall not come to mind or be remembered or missed, nor shall another one be made. At that time, Jerusalem shall be called the throne of the Lord, and all nations shall gather to it, to the presence of the Lord in Jerusalem, and they shall no longer stubbornly follow their own evil will. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial canticle. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob, he shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. 
The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Please stand. Alleluia. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what is sown in the heart. This is what was sown on the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet such a person has no root, but endures only for a while. And when trouble or persecution arises on account of the world, the per that person immediately falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the lure of the wealth choke the word and it yields nothing. But as for what was sown on good soil, this the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, and in another thirty. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So as I've said, today is the feast of uh, memorial of uh, Saint Charbel, uh, a great saint uh, from Lebanon. I know our, our maintenance guy here, Fred, is from Lebanon. So a great feast day for sure, uh, great celebration there in Lebanon. And uh, he's he he's one of the great shepherds that God raised. Okay, and in in, in our first reading today. Uh, in the in the book of the prophet uh, Jeremiah, it says, "I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding." Okay, and you know Saint Charbel was born in 1828, and uh, at the very young age of three years old, his father died, so he was raised by his uncle, and uh, uh, he joined the monastery uh, at the age I think of 24, and got ordained as a priest in 1858. When he was 30 years old, okay, and he discerned that you know God was calling him to live um, a solitary life of uh, of a hermit. So for the last 23 years of his life, he lived uh, uh, as a hermit, okay, and uh, uh, by himself there. And uh, and uh, he 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 was he was bombarded with temptation to wealth and comfort. Okay, and uh, and and with, with that, you know, he 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 was able to overcome those temptations, uh, and was able to practice a life of poverty, a life of prayer, and a life of penance. Three Ps: poverty, prayer, penance. And he taught that to to the people who would come to him, because you know he was he was well known. He was because of his great holiness. People would would be so attracted to him, would go to him, pray for healing, uh, for pray for miracles, and also ask for his intercession. Okay, and uh, uh, and he could, and he was a miracle worker. He performs a lot of miracles even after his death. Okay, uh, in fact, I'll, I'll share with you uh, uh, a miracle that happened. 
uh, this is this happened uh, in uh, in the United States. There was a Lebanese family. Uh, this happened in the fall of 2014. They hired a live-in nanny from the Philippines. Okay, and this this live-in nanny, his mother in the Philippines, was diagnosed with cancer, and she was dying. Okay, and uh, so but the 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 the, the family couldn't afford to give the money to the nanny to go back to the Philippines to, to visit uh, her mother. And of course, also, if, he, if the, the, the nanny would leave uh, the family, they, they need to look for another nanny. Okay, so uh, the, the, the father of, the fa- of this family, Lebanese family, told her that, oh, we will be going to um, uh, a monastery where there's a relic of St. Charbel. We will go there and pray, 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 and ask for the intercession of Saint Charbel. And then, and when we return, you could call your mother and ask how she's doing. So that's what they did. You know, they 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 went to this monastery and prayed uh, to to Saint Charbel. So upon returning, the nanny called her mother in the Philippines. You know, and and you know, just want to get some updates about her illness. And despite the the, the time difference, there's a a 12-hour difference, um, the mother answered right away and was so excited to tell her about the, uh, 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 about the news. And the mother told uh, her daughter, tell, them the, tell the family you work for something for me. Tell them thank you. Thank them for the doctor they sent over yesterday. Okay. So the daughter was confused. Doctor? What doctor? <laughs> so, and then the mother said, the doctor they sent yesterday, he gave me this juice to drink and I haven't felt this good in years. I can't believe it. <laughs> so still confused, the daughter asked, uh, persisted, doctor, mom, who was this doctor? So well, I, the mother said, well, I don't remember his name, uh, and, but she went on to describe about this instructor. And the physical description fit exactly of Saint Charbel. Okay, and as the mother in the Philippines related this story, her daughter halfway around the world started to cry. She realized it was a heavenly visitor who had cured her mother, none other than Saint Charbel himself. So this this mother was examined by several Filipino doctors. And they all said that the healing was miraculous. So this was happened in 2014, just six years ago. So even until you know this modern times, Saint Charbel continues to do miracles. So intercede, ask for intercession, whatever miracles that you need in your life, conversion, healing, financial help, whatever. Go to Saint Charbel. Ask for his intercession. So he, he's a great saint, and uh, he died uh, on the afternoon of Christmas Day in 1898. And in 1977, he was canonized as a saint by Pope Paul VI. Let's ask for the intercession of Saint Charbel for all our needs. Let us pray to the Father in heaven that people may listen to his mighty word so that it may bear fruit among us, that the people of God may be open to God's word and convey it in a language that people can understand. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in public office may render their service with honesty and integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That farmers and those who are into agriculture may be blessed with good weather and bountiful harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find comfort and consolation from the words of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That that our beloved dead may rest in the heavenly kingdom prepared for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for uh, the people of uh, Lebanon right now, especially Fred and also his father who just passed away. Pray for his eternal repose, you know, pray for the intercession of Saint Charbel upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of this Mass, for 
the repose of the soul of Rudy Goring, uh, offered by Tanya Padaliero. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, speak your word to us and make us listen to it. May it bear the fruit of Christian living in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. Say to the cities of Judah, prepare the way of the Lord. Go to the mountain top, lift your voice, Jerusalem, here is our God. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Blessed Charbel, so that as you brought him glory, you may, re- you may through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for us in the festival of St. Charbel, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent to the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, 
and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Terence and Marcel, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Charbel, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Like a shepherd he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding 
them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. Come on to me if you Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Blessed Charbel, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And with our Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. May I dwell in your courts, O Lord, there to flourish like the trees of Lebanon, planted in the house of Adonai, there to live forevermore. La 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 la